Valentines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. So a couple of weeks ago I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted to see more of in 2021 and overwhelmingly I got so many requests for more cooking videos. As an unboxing channel, what makes the most sense here on my platform is to cook some of the meal subscription boxes with you. So backing up, I'm struggling a little bit with getting my feet under me for 2021. My kids start school tomorrow, so I'm hoping that's going to jumpstart my routine. But I knew that I was struggling a little bit, so I ordered not one, not two, but three meal delivery services. Now I did that to help me out, but I also did that so that I can film them all this week and have a couple of cooking videos for you over the next few weeks. So I ordered HelloFresh, which we're gonna cook tonight. I ordered Home Chef, and then I ordered a brand new box I've never done on my channel before. It's got a little bit of a twist, so stay tuned for that one. Like I said, all the videos are gonna be up in the next few weeks. So before my boys left for hockey, I asked Dawson which meal he wanted, and he picked the chicken, the, the Parmesan crusted chicken with creamy lemon spaghetti and Philadelphia cream cheese. So this is what we're making. I went ahead and started the water to boil. I turned the oven on and I lined a baking sheet with some parchment paper just so I could have some of that done. I also patted dry my chicken. Now, if you're unfamiliar with meal delivery kits, this one is called Home HelloFresh. I get Home Chef and HelloFresh always mixed up. Um, we've been doing HelloFresh in our family for about three years. I love it. I don't do it every week. I do it once to twice a month when I know that I'm gonna have weeks that are just more busy, or I went out of town in November for a week and I was able to order a box so my husband had two meals that were ready to go. So you go in during um, the week that you're going to order, or you can actually pick your meals for weeks in advance, and you get to pick the meals that you want. And you can pick for a family of two, a family of four, and I think they have bigger kits now, and they have tons of different recipes. So you pick the meals that you want and then you skip the weeks that you don't and then your meal is automatically um, shipped right to your door. You get to pick the day that it comes and I really like it because I learned some techniques. It gets us out of the cooking rut. Everything's pre-portioned. So this is everything except for my chicken. Your meat is shipped um, in separate containers but it all comes in one big box full of dry ice. I've left my boxes on my porch accidentally for over 24 hours before. Everything was still really nice and cold. And I like that you have everything you need. There are a couple things like water, salt, olive oil, and butter that typically will not be in your bag. But other than that, everything is here. So we're gonna go ahead and start cooking. The first thing that it said, let me grab my glasses, was we were gonna uh, preheat the oven to 425 degrees, which I did, bring a large pot, pot of salted water to a boil, which I've done. It says line a baking sheet with foil. I didn't line it with foil. I had some parchment paper, so I just went ahead and did that. And next, we're gonna cut some tomatoes into half inch thick wedges peel and mince or grate the garlic. Now it does tell us all of the tools that we're going to use. So I already noticed that I needed my little zester guy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tomatoes and peel and mince the garlic and zest and quarter the lemon. And I need to go ahead and get a cookie sheet here. Just use this one. I hope that you guys are having a really good night. So when I open my bag, it looks like this. This meal is supposed to take 35 minutes. So in the bag, I have four tomatoes. I have a lemon. And my box is for four portions. I get questions a lot asking um, is there enough food? I have two boys. One is a 16 year old boy and there's always enough food. A lot of times, to be honest, the portions are a little bit bigger. And so my daughter and myself will kind of half a portion and each eat half, or maybe we'll eat a portion and a half. So a lot of times there's even leftovers for the next day for my husband, which is nice. All right, we got some Parmesan cheese, some more Parmesan cheese, some more Parmesan cheese. I guess the name of the recipe is Parmesan chicken. This looks like it's panko, some cream cheese. Oh no, that was sour cream, sorry. Some pasta, some Philly cream cheese, some Dijon mustard, uh, a little thing of garlic, 
just needed a little bitty guy today and the seasoning all right so i'm going to pan the camera around just know my house is real you guys you're seeing my house the way it is i do not have a show place so it's not going to be perfect so if you see a little bit of a mess welcome home <laughs> all right i'm going to pull pan you over here i'm going to grab a knife this is probably not the right knife but that's okay and it says that we are going to cut our tomatoes what does it say cut tomatoes into half inch thick wedges. Okay. I'm just chop these up. Why I do that, I'm going to let you guys go for a minute and then I will come back once these all are cooked or cut. All right, so I'm back. I got everything chopped up for my lemon, for to my tomatoes, to my garlic right here. And next it says we're gonna take the tomatoes and we're gonna put them on this sheet. They said use foil, I'm using parchment because I'm a rule breaker like that. Sorry for the lighting, you guys. My whole house is windows and so it's pretty dark outside. I'm kind of doing the best I can working with what I've got. They said put the tomatoes skin side down and then we're going to um, put a little bit of olive oil over them and some salt and pepper. So it sounds like we're gonna do a little roast with these guys. And then I went ahead and um, they told us to mix up the panko with half of the Parmesan cheese, half of the fry seasoning, which was in our little seasoning packet, um, some olive oil and some salt and pepper. And so that is what I've done. All right, the tomatoes are done. Now it says that we're supposed to pat dry the chicken, which I've already done. We're gonna put it on the sheet. And I have four chicken breasts, because remember I'm a family of four. And then what does it say with the chicken? Let's see. Oh, we're supposed to also, half the garlic is supposed to go on the tomatoes. So we're gonna sprinkle the tomatoes with a little bit of the garlic. Yum, that's gonna be good. Okay, then it says with the chicken pat dry with paper towels, season all over with the remaining season, uh, seasoning salt fry seasoning and pepper. Okay, so here is my remaining fry season. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it over. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Salt and pepper so far is the only thing in this recipe that we haven't had in our box. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick here. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper, just a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to sprinkle um, the rest of the seasoning. This is called fry seasoning, so that sounds really good. Have you ever had fries like seasoned really well? Mmm, yum. Okay, so we did that, and then it says in a second bowl, combine mustard and sour cream. So I'm gonna do that really quick, hang on. All right, so I went ahead and mixed up the sour cream and the mustard really well. I would have not ever thought to put sour cream and mustard together, but we're just gonna um, put it on top of our chicken. They said evenly disperse it. There's not a lot, so there's not a lot um, of sauce on this. Probably enough to make the panko, which we're going to add next, stick to the chicken. Okay, and then this again is the panko with the rest of the fry seasoning, two packets of the Parmesan, a drizzle of olive oil, salt and pepper, and we're just going to mound this, it said, on top of the chicken and kind of pat it in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, and this seems so yummy. So I'll have to let you know what we think of the sour cream and the mustard together. Do you guys think that's a weird combo or maybe not? Okay, so I'm gonna go wash my hands and I will be back with the next step, hang on. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in the oven. It was in a 425 degree oven, which I've already preheated. And then it says, 
I've got some water on to boil with salt. Go ahead and put in our pasta. Let me do that real quick. Into our boiling water. Turn this up just a little bit. And it says, while that is cooking, we are going to um, melt. Oh, okay. So we're gonna let that cook. We're gonna drain the pasta water, leaving one cup of the pasta water. We're gonna melt in the pot one tablespoon of butter in the pot used for the pasta and add the remaining garlic until fragrant. So I have a few minutes until um, the pasta is done cooking. So I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna clean up just a little bit. One thing that I love, you know how Rachel Ray has a garbage bowl? This is sort of my garbage bowl with HelloFresh. Anything that I'm done with, I can just throw um, in here. And then the few ingredients that I've used, I'm gonna wash down because I touch chicken after I touch the salt. I'm gonna wipe those down, put them away, and then hopefully I'll be back for the next step. All right, guys, so I've cleaned up. I have drained the pasta. It is over in the sink, and now we're gonna work on the sauce. So it says take a tablespoon of butter, put it in your warm pan, and then we are going to add the rest of the garlic that was left. We're gonna let that cook and the garlic get fragrant. Let me tell you guys, my house smells incredible because of the garlic that is on top of the tomatoes in the oven. I just took a peek at the chicken and the tomatoes and they look incredible. So we're just gonna Slowly, I need to turn this down a little bit so I don't burn the garlic because burnt garlic is nasty. I want it to be good. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then the next step, it says that we're gonna take the Philly cream cheese and we're gonna dump it into the pot. They had me at cream cheese with this recipe. Normally, I will grab whatever family member is near when I go to pick out the recipes, but nobody was near me and I had a deadline to pick out my recipe, so when I saw cream cheese, I knew it was a must. Plus my whole family pretty much loves chicken parmesan. Okay, then it says we are going to add a pinch of the lemon zest, which I zested earlier, right here. Okay, and then we're also going to add a half of the reserved liquid from the pasta water. All right, I'm just gonna let that kind of marinate together. And then we're going to squeeze one tablespoon of lemon juice. Let me tell you guys, this lemon that was in this box is the juiciest, freshest, most fragrant lemon, I just took a seed out, that I have ever probably had in my life. It smells so good. So we're gonna throw this in there. I think I'm gonna do two lemons. Make sure there's not. Do you, I don't. I don't know if you can see how much juice is coming out of the sucker, but it is the. It all of it is coming out. Yum. All right. Then we're gonna stir it up just a little bit more. I think I got the lemon seed. Let me grab that. I thought I got them all, but there's one right there. Okay. I'm gonna kind of let that marinate together. Turn it up just a little bit. The cream cheese is taking just a minute to sort of melt and come into the sauce. All right, it does say that we're gonna add two more tablespoons of butter. There's a lot of butter in this and cream cheese and sour cream. <laughs> I will say that you can see the ingredients on HelloFresh before you pick. So if there's any allergies or anything, or if you have health concerns, there definitely are meals that are more healthy. They have Mediterranean, they have Italian, American, pretty much Mexican is our favorite, anything that you want. We're letting this kind of melt. Then as soon as the tomatoes come out, we're gonna take half of the tomatoes and put them in here. I'm gonna check and make sure that chicken is ready in just a minute. We're gonna take half the tomatoes and put it in the sauce. And this lemon cream sauce is gonna go over our pasta. So it sounds so good. The butter and the cream cheese are still needing to melt just a little bit more. I don't wanna turn up the heat too high so as to scald anything. We're almost done, this is one of the last steps. And everything is done in six pretty much easy steps. So anybody can do it. Dawson pulls out HelloFresh a lot for me if I'm busy or at late at night. When he gets home from hockey, it might be nine o'clock at night, and he's like, can I cook a HelloFresh? 
And I like that because he'll eat it and then my husband can eat it the next day for lunch. So it's always a good thing. Okay, turn this down just a little bit. And I'm gonna check on the chicken really quickly, check on the temperature and I will be right back. So the chicken and the tomatoes have come out of the oven. It says that we're gonna take half of the tomatoes and we're gonna put them in the pot with the pasta and kind of stir it around with the sauce. The sauce is not really a thick like cream sauce like you would think, um, but it just coats the noodles beautifully. So we're gonna do that. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. Yum, looks good. So I'm gonna mix the tomatoes in with that. And then it says that you're going to plate the chicken. Yum. Look at all that crusty goodness, you guys. Delightful. Where is the towel? Grab a towel here. Grab some pasta. And it does say we have some extra Parmesan that you can sprinkle some Parmesan on the top. Do a fresh squeeze. We have two more pieces of lime. I didn't turn off the oven or lemon. Put that on there. I'm gonna cut this up and then we're gonna try it. Hang on. Okay, I just turned off the overhead light. I think maybe that might help with the lighting situation. I will try and do the next one a little bit more in the daytime so it'll be easier to see. Okay, the chicken is cooked perfectly. This is what it looks like. You are supposed to take the rest of the tomatoes and just put them on top. Some are mixed into the pasta and some are on top. So I've got my chicken here that is cooked perfectly. I'm gonna do a little bit of the cream spaghetti. Can I get that in one bite? I don't know, here we go. It's super hot, can you see the steam? I don't know if you can. Mmm, mmm. That is really good. I was really interested to see what the sour cream and the mustard taste like. I think it just made the chicken like extra juicy. I don't really taste the mustard. I taste a little bit of the sour cream, but it's more just creamy instead of sour creamy. It's really, really good. I don't feel like I got a good bite of the pasta. So let me take another one with a tomato. Sorry guys. Mmm. To be honest with you, I am not a huge tomato fan. I have never roasted tomatoes before. This is so good. This is an easy recipe that I can replicate another day. Most of the ingredients, cream cheese, butter, Parmesan cheese, mustard, are things that I carry in my pantry. So this one would be super easy to recreate. All right, so the boys just got home and Dawson decided he would test it out for us. Is it good? It has like sour cream and mustard that you coated the chicken with. It makes it really like juicy, doesn't it? And moist. It gives yeah, it. I can have a spice. And then a spice. I think it might be the mustard. I don't know. Maybe. Try the spaghetti and see what you think of the roasted tomatoes. Because I've never roasted tomatoes before. They are really good. He is starving. Excuse our manners. It is some sauce, but good. It has sauce on it. It has like a lemon sauce. Mm. Yeah, lemon cream cheese. Do you like it? Yeah, really good. Okay, two thumbs up. Hey Sunshines, I'm back for day two of cooking HelloFresh with you. Just a little update on yesterday's meal. Everybody loved the chicken. That was a winner. I am going to keep that little trick of the sour cream and the mustard on top of the chicken to keep it moist. That's a good little trick. The sauce on the spaghetti was a very light sauce. It was lemon, just a little bit of butter. Um, Dawson wasn't the biggest fan. He thought it needed more. I thought it was great and so did the rest of the family. But the big surprise of it all is my husband is a huge tomato lover. I don't really love them. I love the roasted tomatoes. I thought they were amazing, but my husband was like, mm, I don't think I wanna have these anymore. <laughs> So although we overall liked the meal, we probably wouldn't make the pasta part again, but we will definitely make the chicken and that is another recipe in my wheelhouse. So I'm super happy for that. Now, today we are going to be making beef and cheese tostadas with green bell pepper, tomato salsa, and hot sauce crema. They look like this. 
delicious. I actually fell asleep on the couch. I never take a nap. I'm not sure what happened. And so I asked my husband if he would come in and help me prep really quickly, and he did. So I'm going to go ahead and read off exactly what we have done so far. Step one was to turn the oven on to 450 and put the racks on the top and middle um, because we're going to heat up the tostadas in just a minute. We we're supposed to wash and dye, dry all of our produce, not dye, dry. <laughs> we're going to dice the tomato, which I already did, roughly chop the cilantro. We got a huge onion. This thing was huge. Half of it we just sliced and half of it we chopped really finely. Um, and then we quartered a lime and thinly sliced bell pepper. So we had two huge bell peppers, there's tons. And then here is my sliced onion. And then we were to combine the onion that we chopped, the tomatoes, the cilantro with some lime and some salt and pepper. So I did that. Then we needed to make the crema. Now, this is a hot sauce crema, which I think is good, but a lot of us here in my household are not super spicy people. The boys like it, but maybe not the girls. So I actually changed it up just a little bit. I've got meat cooking behind me. And I, you were supposed to take all the sour cream, dump a packet of hot sauce in. It's just like in one of these ketchupy packets. But I only did a squirt of this and then I took the rest of the lime because I love a lime crema. That's something that I've learned from HelloFresh. And I put the other two limes in here. So I just went rogue <laughs> just a little bit knowing what my family will like. And that is where we are. Next, we went ahead and just put the ground beef into um, this pan. Do y'all have one of these meat mashers? If you don't, I'm gonna link it down below um, from Amazon. This thing is the best ever. It breaks up your ground beef and helps it um, go into smaller pieces and you can stir using it and everything so it cooks evenly. So we're supposed to go ahead and cook up our ground beef. We are supposed to add the Southwest Spice. So where is that? That looks like this. We got two packs of the Southwest Spice. So we're gonna dump it in here. Kind of, I think, might be similar to a taco seasoning. We're gonna dump that in and then we are supposed to also add chili powder. So there was two packets of chili powder. I'm gonna dump that in. Oh my gosh, this already smells so good. Okay, and a few pinches of salt. Now you probably noticed earlier, I don't have like salt and pepper shakers. I just don't use them. So I just buy these big mammer jammer and kind of sprinkle it in. And I'm not really a measurer. So I am careful with the amount, but I just, I just kind of eyeball it. I'm an eyeball cook. So baking, I do measure, but cooking, mm -mm, not so much. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish browning this. Mix all these seasonings together. Yum. And then it says, once the beef is brown, we're gonna add the bell pepper and the onion and another pinch of salt. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dump all this bell pepper. Look how much bell pepper there was, yum. So I feel like this is a combination of a fajita and a taco, tostada is what they're calling it. And what else did I say we're supposed to put in here? The sliced onion. There's quite a bit of onion too. This onion was huge, but my hubby is an onion lover and so he will be happy. So we're gonna dump that down in there. I just kind of chunked it up. And we're gonna let that cook. I'm stirring the veggies until tender about five to seven minutes. Now, while that is cooking, I went ahead and put the tostadas on, let me show you, two cookie sheets, and it says, I'm going to move this over just a little bit, it says that we're going to drizzle the tortillas with a tablespoon of olive oil and brush or rub them, arrange them on a baking sheet, and we're going to put them on the top rack until they're lightly golden for four to five minutes. So while I'm waiting for the meat to finish, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. I don't know. I'm gonna do three of these. Maybe a spray olive oil would have been better. I have some of that in the cabinet. But I think I've used enough on three of them to work it through all six pieces. Now I have another baking sheet of tostadas over there, so I'm gonna finish up these, brush them really well, make sure I'm getting all the ends. Okay, and 
and then we're going to do round two. Got another pan here. See what my veggies are doing. It smells incredible. It smells like chilies when you go in and smell those amazing fajitas with the bell peppers and the onions. Yum. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to brush these. My New Year's resolution was to cook more, and this is how I am going <laughs> to do it, probably with HelloFresh. I totally consider this cooking. The problem with me making a meal plan is my husband does the grocery shopping, and he is a big couponer. So a lot of times I will plan out a meal and hand him the grocery list, and then say it's Tuesday night, and I go to make the meal, and I'm like, where is this and this and this ingredient? And he'll be like, oh, those are going on sale next week, so I didn't get them. Here I am ready to cook. Not complaining because I'm very thankful that he is a thrifty guy and I'm thankful that he does the grocery shopping, but a lot of times we're stuck, so it's nice to have something like this in the pantry or the refrigerator just to have an emergency meal, although it's good. It's not like, you know, canned soup or something. All right, so these are done and ready to go in. I'm not going to put them in the oven quite yet because I don't think... Our veggies are quite ready yet. I'm going to turn them up just a little bit and we're going to see what the next step is. We're going to add um, the stock concentrate. So we do have two things of beef stock that we're going to dump in here. One of the things I love about HelloFresh is the packages. If your hands are wet, they're always perforated. So they're super easy to open. You're not having to search for a scissors or a knife to open anything which is fabulous. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'm not super close to the camera. I just figured today would be more of a talk you through it kind of video. All right, and then they say that we are going to do one half cup of water to thicken it up. So let me grab some water. right and those veggies are starting to cook down the peppers are taking just a little bit longer the onions are starting to look really good all right let's see if there's anything else we can do tortillas olive oil nope i think we're good so i'm gonna turn you off for just a minute i'm gonna clean up what little mess that i have and then i will come back when it's time to put the tostadas in hold on all right, so I cleaned up. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the tostadas in. They told us to move the oven rack up to the top and the middle if we have a family of four. I'm gonna put these on the top. I have one more pan. And these are gonna go in for four to five minutes. Put the timer on four and we'll see how it goes. Is this four? needs to close. Okay, so one of the things that I like about this recipe is there's a ton of veggies. There's bell pepper, there's tomato, there's cilantro, which is an herb, there's onion, there's bell pepper. I don't know. There's a lot of veggies. So even though this has got some meat in it, a lot of these tostadas are going to be veggies, which I think is really, really great. So I'm going to let the tostadas finish and let this meat finish. And then I will be back to show you the final product. The house smells good again. Don't you love a house when you walk in and you can just tell that something good and yummy is cooking? That's the way my house smells tonight. So funny story, I actually missed one little line right here that says gently prick each tortilla with a fork. I didn't do that. So about halfway through, I checked on the tortillas and realized they all look like puffer fish. So I had to go in real quick and pair some with a fork. So mine are a little bit bubbly, but I don't really care. The Barefoot Contessa always says that you want your food to look homemade and mine looks homemade and I am really okay with that. So we got two containers of Mexican cheese. They said you're gonna sprinkle. I'm just gonna do one for my plate. She said, she said you're gonna sprinkle. I don't know who she is. The directions say, sprinkle with cheese. 
put in the tostada mix. Do I have a fork? No, we'll just use this. Sprinkle a little of that. I want some onion in here. Some more onion, because I love onion too. And then it says you're gonna take this yummy salsa. Look how good this is. Fresh with onions and tomatoes, and oh, I'm a cilantro girl through and through. So we're gonna take a little bit of this, put it on the top, and then I'm going to take this crema, which remember is just sour cream, a squirt of hot sauce, half of a lime, and a little bit of water because you wanted to have sort of a runny consistency, just barely a few drops of water. And then I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top. Now, because I wasn't supposed to use the lime in the crema, you were supposed to squirt the lime on top of your tostada, but I think you get the same thing with the crema. Now, my question is, I don't think I've ever eaten a tostada. <laughs> I've eaten lots of Mexican food. It's probably my favorite. So if it's rude to pick this up and eat it like I'm going to, I apologize in advance, but I'm just going in because it's pretty, it's like a taco sort of. Okay, you ready? There we go. Mmm. <laughs> Not really good. <laughs> the lime crema makes it the onions, the fresh tomato. Y'all, yeah, this is so good. And there's so many ingredients. I feel like you get a different plate flavor profile with every single bite. And it's got really good texture with all the green pepper. Two thumbs up. I would totally order this menu again. My husband, or this recipe, my husband just went and got my son from work. So I will let you know Dawson's thoughts and my husband's in just a minute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play everybody's up and I will be back for some final recaps. All right. So it's a couple hours later. Uh, Dawson came home from work. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is. He actually came home from work and started doing homework and he's on round two of the tostadas. So he's telling me that it's two thumbs up. I didn't want to have to disturb him while he was doing homework. Anyway, the one thing that I have to say is my husband said, I feel like these need hot sauce. So I gave him the packet of hot sauce and he was happy, but I thought the squirt of hot sauce in the cream was just right to give it just a little punch but not too much so we differed a little bit in that but this is a recipe card that i will keep i keep everything up here this is all of my recipe cards and cookbooks and so this one is one that i will be recreating again i loved the idea that it was sort of like a taco but a fajita at the same time. Anyway, if you're interested in trying out HelloFresh, I'm gonna leave my link below. I think it's $40 off your first box, so you can try it and see what you think. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon, guys, for another one. Bye-bye.